I'm going to export the circuit diagram we created or the breadboard diagram we created and put that into Microsoft Word. I will do a separate video where I show you guys how to save all your documents. So how to export as a PDF from your Word document, how to export as a PNG from your PowerPoint, how to export from here as a PNG as well. But just a quick one is you go to file, you go down to where it says export. Now I would choose as image and I would choose both PNG and PDF. The PNG would be the one you put in your actual Word document and the PDF, you would leave it just so that if it's really small, really tiny, and they can't see everything clearly, they can go open the PDF and they can zoom in as much as they want and see things a lot clearer. So for now, I'm just going to do PNG and I'm going to choose desktop unit six exam folder. And I'm going to save this here as circuit diagram. That's fine for me. And I'm just going to click on save. Now, when I go back to my Word document, which should be this one here, all I have to do for this is to go to insert, go to pictures, go to this device and browse for where I saved it. I saved it in unit six exam folder and is circuit diagram here. I click on it and then I click on insert and it inserts it. Now I'm going to crop this part off because I don't need that. But if you guys have anything that you need to crop off is simply right click on the actual image and you go to crop and you click on where you have those thick black lines are around the edges, click, hold and drag it in and that will cut the stuff off you don't need. Click on a white space to stop and then I'm going to stretch this out so it's very clear, but I'm still going to do my PDF just in case. Now down here, I made a note that says you can do this on paper and scan it into your document. That might actually be the best option for most people. That's going to be super quick. It's not going to be the neatest thing in the world unless you spend loads of time on it, but it could be a nice sketch because drawing a rectangle with 20 lines coming out of it should be relatively easy. And the components that you're going to be using should be relatively easy to quickly sketch as well. So whichever way you decide to do your circuit diagram is perfectly fine.